factory perfect Corvette streaks through the Arizona desert at 165 miles an hour. This car has been reported stolen and so far has outrun the DPS officers for a good 30 miles. This car is built for one thing, speed. And with no police ahead of him, this suspect has a real chance of outrunning the cops behind him. He'll have some work cut out for him up ahead here. There are several big rigs in a row that he's going to have to negotiate somehow. He's passing the first on the right shoulder. Very dangerous maneuvers at, at these speeds. He's fishtailing. Oh, there he goes. He's, okay, he's hit. He's hit. This car has shattered into a thousand pieces. Smashing into the rear of the truck, the car disintegrates, and the suspect is thrown from the wreckage. He skids along the desert floor, literally flying by the seat of his pants. He's moving. The suspect is sitting up. He's sitting up. He's still alive. Incredibly, this driver is still alive. He's on his stomach now. Uh, he's waiting for the police, but still the cops are not taking any chances. This could be the luckiest man in the world. 165 miles an hour, no seat belt, smashes into a truck, and not a scratch on him. This Corvette is a total wreck. It's not going anywhere. In fact, the only thing moving are the windshield wipers. Yeah, I've been chased by the cops before. I wasn't worried about wrecking. I was actually the least of my worries at the time. I just, I kept on thinking I could get away. And if I was just trying to get back in the city, when I could get back in the city, I thought I could get away. I wasn't thinking about the consequences.